For us in Belize, tourism is one of the main source of revenue. And if we have or we have left the gate so wide open, not to my mind being as proactive as we should in the healthcare system, then we are leaving John public to what? When our workers get sick, it simply means that there's less productivity. When our workers have to be quarantined for 14 days or more, that's less productivity. So what happens to the GDP then? On a recent trip to Barbados, which was just earlier in February, on arriving at the international airport, there were health professionals on the ground, literally taking temperatures of all persons entering the airport. On arriving back home, even though there was a scare, leaving the airport, the Philip Golson Airport, when you returned, there were health personnel, one or two you could have seen, but they were literally checking immigration papers. I could not see the proactiveness in that. And even after the coronavirus was sent, was sent as an alarm by the World Health Organization from December 2019, we were, as a people just informed by the Ministry of Health, allocated just with $900,000 for this world epidemic. Basically, just what? Six days ago. It is unacceptable by our leaders. We must always protect John Public first. What was happening between December of last year up to February of this year was the focus on the people of this nation even though the coronavirus was lowering itself all around the world? Were we too busy in ourselves that we did not even bother to pay attention and put the people of this country first? We were so preoccupied with leadership, not paying attention to the crime in the face of corruption, drug planes. Senator, Senator, you can't go wide outside the, the marker. I am pointing, Mr. President, and I thank you for the guidance, that if focus is given to the people of this country, knowing that there is an international, a global alarm on health, that should have been the priority of this government. 